Hello and welcome to this week's Angel Oracle card reading for week commencing the 21st of October 2024. My name is Ray and I'm a guide who helps you remember your divine presence so that you can heal your past, find your purpose, create your future, to transform your life, step onto that spiritual path, raise your consciousness, to remember why you are here and take the steps needed to move forward with your purpose and spread your wings and soar. Now this week we are using the Goddess Dream Oracle Cards by Wendy Andrew. But as always before we get into this week's reading, I would like to say thank you so, so much for your continued support. It really does mean a lot to me to be able to be of service to you and for you to trust me enough to use my services. So I thank every single one of you. And of course, with that in mind, um, don't forget to check out everything that I do offer to help you on your journey whether that's angelic reiki, future life regression, past life regression, divine presence, oracle cards, angel cards, guided meditations, my eight week um, soul path discovery program, uh, get to know and understand your chakras program, step into confidence program, and all the other things I do, as well as all my shows, um, angels and destiny, angels and spirits, um, as of uh, Friday the 1st November, 3pm every day, I'll be going live on Facebook and YouTube to pull a card and do a meditation for everyone. Um, and then there's possibly a new show in the pipeline with Sally Hart. So watch this space. Anyway, as always, I'll give the cards a quick lens and a bless. So what does everyone who's watching this need to know for their highest good? We commence in the 21st of October 2024. What does everyone who's watching this need to live in their high school for week commencing? October 2024. Okay, let's see what the cards have got to say for you today. And whilst we're choosing the cards, what do people think, watching me, do you think I should get a backdrop with angel wings behind me? Let me know what you think. Okay, so the cards that came out are connection, we are all connected. Passion, burning with life's passion. And serenity, be calm. Okay, so you could have a bit of contradiction here with passion and serenity, two opposites, there are two opposites. But this week, um, what the uh, angels are and the cards are reminding us is that we are all connected, we are all one, and we forget that sometimes because we're so focused on our individual um, lives and what's going on. But but we are all, 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 all the same, you know, if someone's hurt, we all hurt. If someone's happy, we're all happy. And we need to remember this, especially when we go about our interactions um, throughout the day. You know, if we're passionate about what's going on in our life at this moment, we're passionate about our message, about our joy, about what we're bringing to the world, about how we can be happy, then that um, has the knock on effect on the other people, on other people. And they have that passion, that drive to move forward in their lives, to create beautiful things for them. So that joy and that, that happiness is always out there. And when we're living our passionate life, we actually step into that serenity, into that bliss of knowing, yes, everything is working out as it should work out. And again, when we step into that bliss, that creates the ripple effect again, and that bliss goes through all of all of us. In, you know, and that's not just humans, but that's animals and insects and all living things as well. So this week is reminding us to know that we are connected to have that passion to live your life, to live from your heart, to, to be the best that you can be in this lifetime. And when you burn that, when you have that passion, that zest for life, you have that serenity around you. You have that bliss, that peace knowing that you are making a difference, that you are doing what you are supposed to be doing in this world. And then anything that comes at you just literally does not affect you. It just washes or washes over you. So you stay in that serenity and that bliss, 
knowing that connectedness to, uh, to everyone and everything, which is such a beautiful energy to be in. So take the time this week, you know, what are you passionate about? What do you want to bring to the world? How do you want your life to be? And when you find that and you understand that, then ask yourself, so if I'm what if I'm doing this passion, this thing I'm passionate about, if I'm living my life fully, what serenity will that then bring me? What serenity can I work from that gives me the bliss so that when things do happen outside of outside, they don't affect me. And by not affecting me, they don't affect those around me. So be kind to yourself, be kind to others. For when you're kind to others, you're kind to yourself. When you're kind to yourself, you're kind to others. We are all connected. We are all one. And that's something we all really need to remember. And that is what the angels in the cars are saying this week. We all work together to create the most passionate life that we can have that every single person can have so that we can live in serenity and bliss. So I hope that made sense to you. Um, please do let me know in the comments um, whether all the cards resonated, my reading resonated, whether one card stood out more, more, than, more than for you than the others. Um, I always um, draw these cards for what you need to know for your highest good. And you may get a completely different interpretation and that is absolutely fine. So we have got connection. We are all connected. Remember that. That is such an important thing to remember. Passion, burning with life's passion. What are you passionate about? What do you want to bring in to your life, into the life of others that lights them up, lights you up, brings joy and happiness? And serenity, be calm. Stay in that state of calm and peaceness. And know that when you're in that calm and that energy of peace, that your passion can find its way, that passion can bring you that peace, that you remember we are all connected. So I hope um, you enjoyed that. And as I said, um, do check out everything that I offer. Um, and also don't forget to check out my show, Angels and Destiny, which if you're watching this on Sunday the 20th is taking place on Monday the 21st. If you're watching it Monday the 21st, it's taking place at 8 p.m. in the evening. And if you're watching this later in the week, then do watch the replay. Not sure who my guest is gonna be this week. My original guest um, is unable to do the show, so I'm. it's gonna be interesting to see what, which guest or who I have on my show. It could be a returning guest, it could be a new guest. It could just be me, who knows? But so do check, do check out Angels and Destiny. Have a wonderful week and stay in bliss, connection and find that passion. Take care. Bye.